Hello. In this series, we are investigating reactions in aqueous solutions. An aqueous solution is a solution where the solvent is water. In order to explore this, we first need to understand the structure of the water molecule. A water molecule consists of an oxygen atom held together in a covalent bond with two hydrogen atoms. Here, we can see that the molecule has an angular shape with a bond angle of approximately 104 degrees between the two hydrogen atoms and the oxygen atom. In order to understand the shape of the water molecule, we need to investigate the electron structure of the atoms that make up the water molecule. Let's do this using a Lewis diagram. If we look at the periodic table, we can see that the hydrogen atom is in group 1. From this, we understand that hydrogen has one valence electron in its outer shell. The Lewis diagram will look like this. The periodic table also shows us that the oxygen atom is in group 16 and has six valence electrons. We can again use Lewis diagrams to depict this. When hydrogen and oxygen bond to each other, the hydrogen atoms and oxygen atom share electrons. The shared pairs are represented by lines that join the O and H atoms. There are two remaining unshared pairs of electrons on the oxygen atom. The angular shape of the water molecule is a result of repulsion between both the unshared pairs of electrons and the shared pairs. Now we investigate the polarity of the water molecule in order to see why certain substances dissolve in water. Remember that the polarity of a molecule is dependent on both the electronegativity of the individual atoms and the shape of the water molecule. Let's check the periodic table to find out the electronegativity values of hydrogen and oxygen. Here we can see that the electronegativity value of hydrogen is 2,1, while that of oxygen is 3,5. The oxygen has a higher value. Oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen. What does this mean? It means that the hydrogen side of the molecule is more positive than the oxygen side. Therefore, we say that the water molecule is a dipole. It has two poles. The sides of the molecule are oppositely charged. Now, in this diagram of two water molecules, we see that there are electrostatic forces that form between the slightly positive and slightly negative sides of the water molecules. The slightly negatively charged oxygen atom is attracted to the slightly positively charged hydrogen atom of another water molecule. These forces are called hydrogen bonds. In the scale of intermolecular forces, hydrogen bonds are the strongest. They occur between molecules that are made up of a hydrogen atom and a small, highly electronegative atom such as N, O or F. So, let's summarize. The water molecule is an angular molecule made up of an oxygen atom connected to two hydrogen atoms. Because of this shape, the water molecule is a polar molecule. This is important because it is this characteristic that allows certain substances to dissolve in water while others do not. Finally, the water molecules are attracted to each other by intermolecular electrostatic forces called hydrogen bonds. Grade 10s, there is more information about reactions in aqueous solutions at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Remember to try some of the questions in the task video. Goodbye. Thank you.